Okay, welcome back to my Camino Highlands project. We're also pretty much 90% done with this one. It's just the last bit of paint. And then we gotta throw in the plants and do some work on the patio, which is also painting. But you know, welcome back. Here's my life. I live in my truck all day and I've got a porta pot behind me. So what's new? Let's go check it out. Okay, we're going back to the Camino Highlands job. You can see the sign right there, kinda. Anyway, this one was the original 1960s house. I did not like a, very much about this house because it was kind of remodeled poorly before the client bought it, but we are fixing it. We're transforming it. And we're taking what we were given and we're making it better. Because you know what? Anything can be transformed if you put some thought into it. There's never not a good solution for a house. And this one is completely transformed. So wait till you see the progress. We're pulling up now. Lee, what's new? Okay, so as you can see, this whole house is white. Oh my God, and we just walked past, past the gate. The gates are a denim blue, it's kind of cool. We'll show that in the rest of the video. But look at it, it's all white. So all the columns are gonna look like that column, which are a little lighter. It looks like real stone, you know, different colors of limestone. So it's kind of like the English or French countryside. There's a lot of history in the stone color is my point. It gives, you, gives it a lot of character. So we took this house and totally transformed what it used to be, which was, anyway, <laughs> it was horrible. And, um, and now it has character and style and history and everything means something and it looks good. So the inside of the house was just basically a new fresh paint job. The client did buy it with the house remodeled already inside. So this was kind of unique where I only really did the outside. Anyway, we painted everything fresh. We gave the doors new doorknobs. We kept the client's furniture and protected it. So it was a very manageable process, but just this fresh white paint really made a difference. Okay, we're in the backyard. Noisy. We're in the backyard and as you know, the view to the ocean is right there. The Pelican co Golf Course is across the street. But the cool thing about this house is, you know, it's a 1960s one, but we're, we got the new built-in barbecue. We got everything's painted white. The beautiful new slate roof, which is really just tiled to look like slate. And that just white Christmas with with all the stone being done in the beautiful limestone colors, it's quite spectacular. So part of the backyard was the custom barbecue, which we kind of looked out at before, and then this custom fountain that I designed from scratch. And it's kind of easy because it's just block, and then I put in a stainless drip edge here so the water cascade down into the pond. And, so, and I put the water up a little higher than the water down here so it makes more noise because I want to camouflage the traffic noise because this is PCH, Pacific Coast Highway right here. So anyway, custom made fountain, easy peasy. Thank you for joining me in another episode of Julie and the Truck. I hope you enjoyed it. And hey, don't forget to check out my website. I got all this helpful, helpful information on there. And then probably the most helpful thing I've done is provide the seven simple steps laid out. So whether you're doing a remodel or thinking about it or your friends, it explains everything in order of what should be done and how should it be done. So feel free to download it and print it. It's free. Check it out. And we'll see you on the next one.